Hi folks, it's Steve Grono from the Maritime Exchange Museum, and I'm going to show you uh, this uh, U.S. Navy Signal Lamp 1936 edition in uh, restored working order. We have uh, dismantled this lamp down to its smallest piece, oiled, clean, straightened, and polished all of the components. It's made of aluminum, bronze, and brass. We've also fitted it with a custom-made steel riser pipe for display and a circular uh, platter at the bottom that's about a 16 inch platter welded to this pipe that's been that pipe has been polished and black powder coated uh, along with the light itself has been powder coated to keep it nice it's a signal lamp so I believe this diameter here is approximately 12 inches in diameter and you would flip this of course to flash your morse code from ship to ship there's a unique little aiming eye here, a target, and a uh, sight, aiming sight, I should say, right here, where you could actually look across this notch here and point your signal directly at the ship that you were trying to signal. Uh, there's a brass plate here with some instructions. I've taken some still pictures of that. These are heat vents right up here at the top to let the heat out the top. This does have clamps in the front and the back to open it up and service it. It's powered electrically by two high-intensity lamps. Um, I believe the lamps are uh, uh, standard type bulbs, but uh, I'll show you the inside. This is to set the angle right here. There are one of these on each side to set the tilt. All of this works, this yoke, this brass or bronze yoke works. There's a maker's plate here that says who the maker is, but I cannot make it out. I do have some still pictures of it. It's a type 12-1-23 made in 1936. I can make that much of it out. And it says ENGR uh, 120 at the top. And then across the top where the maker's name is, I can't make that out. I'll show you the inside here. You open this up. This has a parabolic reflector, highly polished and silvered. This has all been resilvered, so it's like new. There are two bulb mounts here. I imagine they were high intensity bulbs. Across here, I believe, is a fuse where a fuse would go and your power would, would hook up to this, I would assume. Uh, you can see how nicely it works with the spring. This operates pretty much flawlessly, so you can light this up and send your neighbor a signal if you like. Works great. Um, so I'll close it and show you a little bit more about the front of it. These little dogs, there's three dogs with uh, nuts to draw down to keep it sealed. This, of course, had to stay watertight, mounted up on the bridge of a U.S. Navy vessel. So again, right here, the wooden handles here. This opens and closes your shutter to send the signals. This this gimbal does allow it to pivot. Um, there, I just pivoted it up for you to give you a better angle on that. But these these dogs hold the front lens on. There's three of them, uh, and then that's how the that's how the shutters open and close right there. There's a little bit of the mechanism. This part, I believe, is all heavy-duty aluminum. This part is, is a machine steel. These are bronze. This is all brass right here. This, is, this yoke is all cast brass. It's all been polished up. There is a handle here for turning it. Uh, the letters on here, I believe, say C and FC. C and FC is what that says, I believe, and there's a handle here. So that's it. Uh, overall weight's probably about 180 pounds, maybe closer to 225 with the base. It's a pretty heavy-duty base. Stands about five feet tall, the way it is right now, to be displayed in your museum collection. It's a beautiful piece. And if you have any questions, 810-599-5147. Thank you so much. hope that was helpful.